Ladies and gentlemen, Hex community of all ages, hey Jake Freedom here coming to you live from YouTube for this week's Hex Update Saturday for December 20th, 2014. Now, we didn't have a whole lot happen this week other than, oh, that's right, we had the release celebration last Saturday and, and uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, how'd you guys do in that? Uh, I think there was over, there was 1,300 and... The number leads me right now. 1,330 some, some odd tournaments that were ran. So um, 1,330 Phil Gapes back into the wild there. Were you, were you guys able to actually get one? Um, maybe you got two, maybe three, maybe even got four of them. I unfortunately was unable to go 3 0 to get one of my, to get a Phil Cape. Just one. I did seven, seven or eight drafts. I think it was seven. And went to the final round three times and just couldn't. Couldn't quite pull it off. Um, lost in round two once and lost in round one three times. So unfortunately, I was unable to get my fill cape, but hey, got a lot of the uh, uh, Dark Spire Punisher cards, but hey, that's okay. Um, so yeah, how'd you guys do? Hopefully you guys had better luck than I did. I mean, I'm not saying I had horrible luck. I thought I drafted some pretty decent decks. Um, towards the end of the tournament there, I was um, heavily favoring Wild and uh, the tunneling abilities and the guys that give you one shot for plus two you know so they seem to work sometimes you know they weren't they weren't consistent it was kind of tough because you had to bring your cards out in the right order they had to be there you had to tunnel them properly and if you just didn't get that order if you, in that order if you fell a couple turns behind even one turn behind it just seemed like you were always behind from there on out so it was it's a powerful deck if you can get it to go off right but if you can't it just it's not that great um, and it's not that good against aggressive uh, really quick aggressive decks but oh well so that was my uh, really celebration experience there like I said hopefully you guys had um, some good luck too um, uh, this week they also they 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 patched the game they fixed some things that were not working over the over last weekend mainly being a lot of cards like sub subterranean spy here that now works correctly where it reveals the opponent's hand while it's tunneled um, you can check out the uh, uh, Shattered Destiny booster packs now in the auction house there. The Shattered Destiny primal packs can no longer incorrectly drop when players use shards of fate boosters to enter in their limited tournaments. Um, there was a little bit of a bug that happened when you went into tournaments last weekend. Um, what would happen is sometimes you'd get a primal pack. It happened to me once. And it's a it's a set one primal pack. I think I talked about this last Saturday too, but <clears throat> um, set one primal pack, and I think they fixed that. Hopefully they did. Um, so they like I said they just they just fixed a couple a lot of a lot of cards is what they fixed here. You know, like lethal damage no longer lasts until the end of the turn. If this troop dies, it incorrectly it correctly falls off, so on and so forth. This is just a little small patch just to fix some things that they wanted to fix after the tournaments um, had wrapped up there. Um, then we had this nice article here from Ben. Um, he's talking about why Hex is the way. Why Hex is the way it is. Um, why the cards transform the way they do. Why they don't retain some stuff. Um, <clears throat> basically, what the what the article boils down to is they talk about you know um, what they what they wanted to do or what the what they envisioned at one point in time, and then they tell you here like what Hex isn't. So like. For example, here, this, these burn cards here, um, if, this, if your burn transformed and it, it deals two damage to target champion or troop, obviously that's its standard card text, but it can't, you know, they don't want it to have flight and they don't want it to have crush. Um, they don't want things to be like, when this enters play, gain health equal to its defense. We, don't, we can't have stats like that or have a, have a burn with spell shield. Um, it's it's a really interesting article and just you know like I said it just talks about why hex is, why hex is the way it is today and why it's not something else and he does a pretty good job with it. Um, it's you know it's a it's a pretty decent read. I'm not going to go through it here. Like, uh, you know the, the, like I said it just talks about why cards transform the way they do rather than you know another way. So I'll go ahead and link that in the description down below and you guys can check that out. Uh, um, you know, in your in your when you have some more time there, because I don't want to don't want to bore you with uh, all the little small details there. So, really, like I said, good article. I highly suggest reading it. Um, and then early this week, we got an announcement where we got the Night of Bells celebration, and this is um, Alvin Tarathis celebrating celebrating the Night of Bells, 
and we want you to join in the fun. From December 23rd to January 4th, players get the special adamant adamanthian scrivener sleeve so they can spread holiday cheer throughout the year. All you need to do is log in. <clears throat> For players who participate in any tournament, they will get the gift uh, of a special hat adorned um, Caroline Adamanthian Scribner as a bonus prize no matter where they place off where they place in a tournament. Um, so basically you just need to enter a tournament and if you just want the sleeves you can just drop out immediately. Um, forfeit there, whatever you want to do, but I wouldn't I would suggest just playing, why not? So yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, this is really interesting here. So you basically get the sleeves, and then you'll get the uh, you'll get the card here too. So yeah, that's really really nice of them. So um, again, it's another alternate art card. So I will uh, enter in four tournaments just to get four of them anyway. So yeah, I think that's kind of nice of them to do that. Um, so remember, don't forget that's going to be from the 23rd. That's three days from now. What is that? Uh, it'll be Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, it'll be Tuesday. So don't forget to log in and get a. Uh, get your uh, prizes there that's really nice of them there um, let's see what's next here oh January VIP cards um, yeah hang on a second let me back up a second um, I'm gonna back up here I'm going to where are we at I know where I'm at but we're gonna back up here we're gonna, we're gonna add a screen region here I think I've been uh, assuming you can see this, and my screen region wasn't there. So we're just gonna make this right here. I'm gonna show you that uh, Knight of Bells card again. I mean, you guys have probably seen it. I don't know, maybe not. Let's just do that. There we go. All right. So here is the Adamantian Scrivener. Um, if I don't know why my little screen region wasn't up, I just looked over and I'm like, hey, my screen region's not up there. Um, so yeah, here's the Adamantine Scribner card and sleeve. So like I said, be sure to log in and uh, be able to get that. Um, let's see here, the VIP cards, January VIP cards. Here we go. Um, they're going to be Goremaster and Succulent Cluckadon. Um, so the last chance to get the Zentoth's Inquisitor and the Menacing Gronk will be next weekend, the last December um, all the VIP tournament. And I believe that one's going to be a sealed tournament. Um, so it'll be the last chance for that. I'll probably enter that one in, probably enter into it, maybe. Depends. Um, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. But really excited for the January VIP tournament because we get some, just some new alternate art cards. We'll give us some give us a chance to get something new into our collection there. I only have a couple Zentoths and Menacing Gronk, Grol so I'll probably have to enter in that tournament just to try to get a couple more anyway. Um, yeah, so the uh, the current the next VIP tournament is going to be the 26th, 27th, and 28th. Um, it's going it is going to be sealed deck for your final uh, chance to win the um, Zentals Inquisitor and the Menacing Grawl there. So don't forget to do that. Uh, let's see what what else we got here. And then they have a hex update Night of Bells and just goes through and they're just reminding everybody about the VIP tournaments and the new cards here and what the prizes are and what the entry fee is so the entry fee is it's a it's obviously four rounds of swiss four packs of shattered destiny um and two packs of shards of fate um entry fee is going to be 14 platinum or six boosters plus 200 platinum there and it looks like they, i don't know if they've upped the gold and the, or the winnings here because the four wins now is 10 packs i thought it was lower than that before uh, i'm not sure but anyway yeah four wins is 10 packs and two aa cards and seventy thousand gold um also just want to let everybody know that um, the uh, customer service uh, over at GameForge might be a little bit delayed um, through the holiday season here, just for just basically because of limited staff. Um, I think we can all kind of understand that. <clears throat> and then they uh, talk about the uh, Blood Cup here again. We went over the Blood Cup uh, last time there, so if you guys are interested in that, go ahead and um, check that out. I'll go ahead and leave a link to FiveShards.com in the description below there. So that's basically all we had happen this week. Um, um, it was a pretty, you know, pretty uneventful week, really. I like the uh, um, the Transformation Nation uh, article there, and uh, definitely the uh, um, the Night of Bell celebration. I'm kind of excited for those sleeves there, just to just to get it. Why not? All right, so let's go ahead and um, hop into the game here and open up uh, this week's pack. And I will get the uh, winners. I haven't, I don't got the winners up again. But I'll get those cards mailed out as soon as this uh, video is done here. 
So congratulations to the winners when you get your cards. All right, let's go and open up a new pack this week here and see what we got. Um, I want to make sure we got the right one. Here we go. Shattered Destiny. Boom. What are we going to get? Rare, legendary, rare, legendary, rare, legendary. <gasps> uh, that's a rare. That's okay. All right, so our commons are going to be uh, Sly Huntress. Sterling Starwatcher, uh, Mechan Manacle Entrepreneur, uh, Careful Rummaging, Meek, uh, Adrenaline Rush, Spambot, Crackling Sprout, Ridge Raider, Phoenix, Phoenix Guard Enforcer, and Giant Mosquito. It's uh, interesting. There was a, uh, uh, a post on the forums about cards, and somebody asked if the, uh, the guy that's in Giant Mosquito and, um, oh, what's the other blood card in, in Shards of Fate that flies too? Oh, his name is, okay, we'll get back, we'll get back to that story here in a minute, because it's, it's pretty interesting. Okay, those are our commons. Our uncommons are going to be Starfire Totem Mist, um, Shard of Conquest, and Mentor of the Wind, and our rare will be... Stone Tusk, 5 cost, 2 diamond threshold. Um, he's got Steadfast and says when you are dealt damage, sacrifice this. So basically, to keep him alive, you cannot be dealt damage to your champion there. Um, so as long as you can prevent that, he's going to stay on the board with Steadfast. And he's a he's a 5 cost, 6, 7. That's a pretty good card there. Um, as far as stats wise it is, um, how, how easy it is to keep him alive. I don't know, I've never used him yet. Haven't used him yet at all. Alright, those, those are the uh, cards... For this week, go ahead and leave me your top five in the comments down below. Um, now, just real quick, back to that that story I was talking about. Um, <clears throat> I don't know why I can't remember his name. You guys know the other the other blood card that flies and um, that has that same dude, giant corpse fly. Okay, the guy is the is sa is the same. If you if, if you haven't noticed, um, let's just put in giant here. If you haven't noticed, the the guy. He's the same dude, okay? And somebody asked on the forums, is he ever gonna become a card? And one of the, uh, I don't know if it was one of the CZE employees or one of the nobles, which there are CZE employees as well, they uh, they responded with, yes, that is gonna be a card. They, they were glad that somebody was paying attention. So eventually, somewhere down the road, this guy here that's in these cards is actually gonna be a card himself, which would be kinda neat. So, other than that, if you want to let me know something other than your top five picks, go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. If you liked the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more Hex Update Saturdays, be sure to click that subscribe button down below. We'll have another video for you soon.